All right, welcome back to the show. Chris brought us some beautiful fresh haddock here. Uh, haddock is one of my all-time favorite fish to eat. We're gonna start things off today with a classic New England haddock chowder. So now we're left over with this beautiful fish rack, but this is ideal for making a really good fish stock. Haddock in particular makes a very good stock. Uh, the only thing we do need to do is I'm gonna remove the gills. It said that if you don't do that, it can kind of create a bitter taste. This will do a sprig of fresh dill. Just do a little bit of celery in there and a small piece of onion. I'm gonna add just about enough water just to cover the fish. I'll bring that to a furious boil, and once it's boiling, we'll lower the heat and simmer it for about a half an hour or so. All right, next step is we're gonna dice up some bacon. Uh, one thing that makes this a lot easier is if you put your bacon in the freezer for about 20 minutes or so, it makes it easier to chop up. So kind of the ideal ratio for a chowder like this is you kind of want equal amounts of fish onion and potatoes. Uh, it seemed like a lot of onion, but these are gonna cook down quite a bit. And as we're going, we'll get started chopping the potatoes. You certainly could use just about any kind of potato, but I like the touch of having a little bit of color in there. I'm gonna chop these up into small cubes. And I also like to dice some of it up really finely, and that'll help thicken the chowder at the end. I'm gonna add just a little bit of thyme. All right, our onions are coming along nicely. Uh, this is another one of my secret ingredients, uh, Accent, you can buy it at the supermarket. It's actually MSG, and just a little bit of this stuff will go a long way, so maybe a quarter of a teaspoon tops. Just a little crunch of black pepper. And once the onions are cooked, it's time to add the potatoes in. And now we're gonna top this off with some of our lovely fish stock. Um, that's been simmering for about a half an hour. That's all you really need to do for a fish stock. And we just want to get the potatoes so they're just barely all the way covered with stock. All right, so we're now we're going to raise the heat on that, bring that up to a slow boil. All right, while our potatoes are boiling there, we're going to get the fish ready. Um, we've got two beautiful haddock fillets here. I'm just going to give these a good dose of sea salt and a little black pepper, not much. Potatoes are finishing up here in the pot. We're going to get started on a simple roux. A roux is basically just melted butter and flour equal proportions of each. Um, so I'm gonna go with about three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of flour. What's up, dude? We'll just add our flour to our melted butter. We'll burn her on low heat. I'm gonna stir that together until it's nice and smooth. Turn that off and set it to the back and we'll use that later to thicken the chowder. All right, we've been boiling our taters for about 12 minutes now, and that's just about where I want them. So at this point, I'm gonna add the fillets on top. I'm gonna turn the heat to low. Now we're gonna add in probably about two cups of whole milk, just until everything is sort of covered up. We just don't want this chowder to break, so as long as it stays below 212 degrees, we're all set, but if it gets above that, things can get ugly. Good, I'm just gonna give a quick dash of salt. You always wanna salt your chowder right at the very end. All right, so we've been uh, kind of slow simmering our chowder for about 25 minutes now. All the flavors are getting happy and coming together and mingling in there, and I think we're uh, just about done. It's thickened up quite a bit. So we've got some nice big chunks of fish in there. The haddock held together fairly well. Did you forget about the bacon bits? I did not. We are gonna kind of serve these at the end, sprinkle those on there. Yeah, the unbelievable, huh? Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I'll take a good fish chatter over a good clam chatter any day of the week. That's unbelievable. 